Hi, I'm John Byrne with Poets and Quads. Welcome to our one-on-one interview with a true business innovator in education, Raj Etamadi. Welcome. Thank you. Raj is the Dean of the Damore McKim School of Business at Northeastern University. Raj, you did something incredibly disruptive at the University of Illinois, launching a $22,000 online MBA, and now you're about to unleash your innovation magic at Northeastern with something called the MBA X. What is it and why are you doing it? So when you think about the future for business, if you think about FinTech, of course it's going to be the combination of finance and computer science and technology. Or you think about accounting analytics, it's going to be accounting and, and data science. And in our traditional MBA programs, the more McKim graduates are expected to do two concentrations in business. And people typically do marketing and supply chain or accounting and finance. And what we did was we relaxed that assumption. So the student could do one concentration in business, the second concentration in computer science perhaps. So it could be finance and artificial intelligence. Mm -hmm. And by virtue of bringing in, let's say, a college of science, we now have an, a concentration in bioinformatics. We have a concentration in biotech. By virtue of going to computer science, we have four different concentrations there. Artificial intelligence, data science, software development. When you go to College of Arts, Media and Design, you have experiential design. And this is, I think, the secret sauce because we have moved from teaching these literacies in silos to integrating these literacies and we call it humanics within Northeastern, which is the integration of three different literacies, technology literacies, data literacies and human-centered literacies. Right. We need to create this newer generation of managers that are extraordinarily conversant in this era of digital convergence, which means some paradigm shifts going to an ecosystem view and understanding that there are new literacies that need to have. So that's basically what we did with our MBA X. So what I like about this, Raj, is that this is getting you far more integrated. Right and able to leverage the yes. university's expertise in different areas. Yes, and that's, I think, how digital convergence affects us because it's going to affect the world in terms of how we live, how we learn, how we produce content, how we consume content, and, and it's not just for the outside world, it is also for us inside the Mormicum. And what's the corporate buy-in for this change? We reached out to about 400 hiring managers of companies over $250 million. And they basically said to us, we need students and learners who are conversant in multiple disciplines, the interdisciplinarity, and somebody who can navigate this world of digital transformation. Sure. From my end, I would say the MBA X for us is a step in that direction. Companies are struggling with their talent strategy. They are not getting enough people and if they have people, they are struggling with reskilling, upskilling, which effectively means we as business schools, we need to radically rethink how we think. Now, one of the distinctive competencies about Northeastern and its business programs is experiential learning. Yes. You're, in your undergraduate program, your co-op experience is legendary. Yes. It really gives students incredible learning that sets right. them up for full-time jobs, which is why your uh, career outcomes are very good. Right. And in your MBA program, you have your corporate six-month residency. Yes. How did Northeastern get the lead on that? And how has that been refined or changed through the years? Our experiences in undergraduate education, we have about 10 combined majors where we take the undergraduate uh, curriculum, divide it into two, give it to two different colleges and ask them to integrate. So we have 10 different uh, combined majors at the undergraduate curriculum. And uh, as a university, we have about 3,000 partners in over 100 countries. Wow. Every year, and I say this to people, Northeastern undergraduate uh, placements in co-op is about uh, 11,000. Uh, the more McKim is about 25% of that. You know, that is the kind of uh, placements we provide across the world. And you have 30 full-time people yes. in the undergraduate school alone Correct. managing the logistics Correct. of these Correct. partnerships. You can't just take these students and send them off to corporate partners. So you have to train them and uh, they get these jobs and these students come in and they can raise their hand and tell the faculty member, that's not what I saw at Salesforce. That is not what I saw at Goldman Sachs or JP Morgan. Right. So uh, two thirds of our students at Damore McKim get a job uh, with their uh, co-op employers. Wow. And when they graduate, they are absolutely prepared for the real world because they know exactly that's what they want to do. Now Raj, we're here in San Francisco, right. in the heart of the city. 
Uh, you have students in this building. Yes. Tell me what they're doing here. If you want to learn entrepreneurship, which is the best place to learn, you come and learn in the Silicon Valley, which is what our students are doing here. We have campuses right now in Charlotte, Seattle, Vancouver, Toronto, and we have a presence in London, and obviously the Boston campus. We are using these campuses as innovation hubs, if you will, and then we feed the experiences along the network. How distinctive is your approach to entrepreneurial education? In the last three years, John, uh, 64 ventures have been launched wow. uh, at Northeastern. They are sustainable for future funding, mm -hmm. or they have revenues to the tune of $200,000. Our alumni can come back and say, I want to start a new venture, and we uh, let them go through our accelerator, if you will. So this has been a very unique asset, such that last year, the Deshpande Foundation awarded us the top entrepreneurial university for our entrepreneurial ecosystem. Congratulations Thank on you. that. Thank you. So Raj, as we wrap up, uh, let's pretend I'm a potential learner. Yes. And I'm looking at your school. Yes. Convince me that I should go. Very simple, John. <laughs> we prepare you for the future of work. I want all our students and learners to be CEOs, chief entrepreneurial officers. The future of work in this era of digital convergence is going to be very different compared to the past. At a very broad level, the human-centered skills are what is going to take you to the top and enable you to be uh, robot-proof. Baraj, thank you for the really interesting insights. Thank you. This is John Byrne with Poets and Quants in San Francisco. Thanks for watching. <laughs>